evening and welcome to your program, NAVDAC and Your Health. I am your host, Harriet Parkinson. Hope you've been coping well with the effects of COVID-19. It is tough to say the least. However, you just have to support the various efforts at checking the spread of the virus. This can be achieved by obeying all the rules and directives given to you by the NCDC, the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19, and not to forget the WHO. Let me quickly add here that wearing a mask alone will not prevent you from getting infected. Careful hand washing and social, call it physical distancing, must also be followed religiously. Wash your hands before you put on your mask. Wash your mask after each use. That's if it's locally made. If you're wearing a mask, avoid touching the front of it. You can also transfer the virus from the mask to your hands. So always wash your hands if you touch the front of the mask. A mask shouldn't be worn by a child under two years old or a person who has trouble breathing or persons who can't remove the mask on their own. Even when exercising, you really do not need a mask. Please keep safe. Now, the world is making concerted efforts to find a remedy for COVID-19, a virus that has devastated the global community for some months now, with over 300,000 fatalities. While efforts are being intensified, in finding a breakthrough, Madagascar came up with a claim that she has remedy for the virus, a claim that the World Health Organization, that's WHO, has faulted. Well, it's already in the news that the sample of the herbal remedy is here in Nigeria. Our mandate is to control the importation, the exportation, the manufacture, distribution, sale and use of seven regulated products, which are drugs, food, medical devices, packaged water, beverages, cosmetics, chemicals. And when you look at those regulated products, you can see the COVID pandemic written on almost all of them. The Director General of the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAFDAC, Professor Mojisola Christiana Adeyeyi, speaking on the mandate of the agency. Now, what is NAFDAC up to as far as COVID-19 is concerned? Are there local efforts in curbing the spread of the virus? Well, I can assure you that the DG NAFDAC, Professor Mojishala Christiana Adeyeyi, is waiting on the line to give you all you need to know about what the agency is doing to keep you safe even in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic. Madam, I'm so glad to have you join us on the program tonight. It's good to be here. Thank you. We also have in the studio Miranda Nkasi with NAVDAC Update. So stay with us. I'll be right back. Everybody shine your eye, shine your eye. No bad sugar, power, vegetable oil, yeah. When you get what I need, I do. Food dreams, when you get inspiring, yeah. Una no hear ram, sugar, flour, and vegetable oil. Where no get vitamin A, I logo, and have that registration number. Na katakata for anybody we chop arm. Person where you salt, we get iodine inside. In bringo day sharp, and in bongo strong, kakaraka. Only iodized salt. Where day for small size pack with NAFDAC number and map of Nigeria. Na in good for body, drugs, drinks, cosmetics, and foods. Where no get NAFDAC number, manufacturer's address, and expiry dates. Na danger zone be that oh. No buy, no use. My brother, injection no better pass tablet oh. If person give you drug, where no get label, no agree. Because now you're right to know the name of the melody where you want to take. NAFDAQ, they want to take it away. NAFDAQ, safeguarding the health of the nation. Ah, ha, ha, what my friend? Look at that, we're so. Wait, 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 wait. Chine, do, I didn't put my house in hunger. I won't kill me. Now I tell myself, Madam, stand up. Go and look for food. So I come here now. Air yeah, boy, I know he opens the door. Oh. He run your eh, me. Go open the Go for me. Eh? Hey, I don't go open the door. Government talks, eh? Now take away. Make what they do. Give people where one shop. So anywhere you want shop, tell me. Make I go bring her for you. You will call collect her. Carry and go to your own house. Go shop. No put me for trouble. What? Oh, okay, give me to watch in Kappa with a good sister of Pilosimo Nama. Because it's teacher, I depend me. <laughs> Why it's not go pay you? God don't cash you. Hello, Mwe. You don't dare house shop me, Mr. Yabi. Wait till I talk. Uh, 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 I say, may God bless you. Eh, uh, my Ibo, I dey come on. Uh, please hurry up, no, Biko. Um, Una wed or no? Equalambio. Ah. Iyabo, ibo lo mo itun bo sisi. Ah 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 ah. Oga ko de. Eh? Hey! Eh no you be this. 
she na do the original Igbo man. Ah, oju ere, you can do fit to come see again now. Ah, does you know say the man who they stand for there na malam? Eh? Ah, malam. Eh? Malam. Ah, this is malam Jutro. Eh, egba mi. See, this mask they hide people's identity. Oh. See, now you feel go meet your enemy and say Good morning, sir. You know, go no say na you. How <laughs> <laughs> oh, is your no? This is true. Well, let you get in there. I tell you, I talk about me. I even see Chinese do for here. I know no am. Even nobody say you call my name. I for say uh, you know be get in there. I ain't like quam. Hey hey, I don't go. I'm a Igbo. Take your own. I don't want to get that way way. Mala way here again. Come come eat your food. Thank you. Thank you too. Eh, Kabo. Eh, Amala never don't know. Okay, okay, no problem. I go wait here. Eh, Mala, she need one more ibo. Me go na no forget yo. Me go na no forget say me. I have bomb ball or shibi. Eh, alias one road no enter market. I get cure for this COVID nineteen. No, what you? Ben yo. See eh, my agbo jedi jedi. If you take her for just five and a half days like this, Sam. He go cure him, ni. Eh? Mm. Wait, 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 wait. Yabo, yeah, which agbo you mean? Eh? That one. Now for Jadi Jadi now. How you go talk say they cure COVID nineteen? Oh. Ah ah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Ah. Egg mommy. Kini yeah. I don't know why they day like this every mm. time. Kilo they go. Chloroquine where then they talk everywhere. No be for malaria. Mm. Mm. Eh? Eh? Not for malaria. No be chloroquine then they use street the virus. Uh-huh. Ebo, let me tell you, I did, yeah, if I did, America yeah. people they fit you smell less, well, then they use cure malaria, cure coronavirus. Mm-hmm. Eh? Mm-hmm. Our God, we said, we supposed to look inside house. Mm-hmm. Eh? Mm-hmm. You say, our own, our God, Jedi Jedi, people use and cure this uh, COVID 19. Ah, I be a malam. Yeah, but let him was a person. I agree with you, completely. Time I don't come make with the look inside poor we house instead of to the go back to the land to get everything. I no good at all, pa. Okay, look at now. People where are they go for Ghana for hospital to do checkup? And nobody even cross go another state when they for Nigeria now. Make we support our own. I don't talk my own finish, pa. Mama Yibo, when they are talking, no good. Good, no. You go raise your cool about the Yibo. I mean, I no go talk a lie for here. I say, come to man or myself. But make we hear waiting on that one day. Now for that man to go talk of friends. Hey, my people, you see. Make we be very careful for the thing where we they put for our mouth too. She and Gomi, see, only both people never tell you and say they don't get cure for COVID nineteen. They never talk so. The thing they talk be say the medicine where then they give person we get them. It is for the symptoms, no be coronavirus. So now symptoms then they treat, no be coronavirus. Say so you hear me? You see now, talk. you see now. See, person we get the virus. A the sick fever. No be so. If you give them chloroquine and cure the fever, you know me say you don't cure the coronavirus. Oh. Mm-hmm. Now fever, when you get, now you cure. And person will get coro if you get dysentery. And if he come chop, he abos a good jedi jedi, and the jedi jedi come stop. You know me say coronavirus don't go. Mm-hmm. Eh? You know me say don't go for him body. See, all he abo go do now be say, Make you submit the Agbo Jedi Jedi. Time. Make we look him again to see she he actually get the thing where he kill the virus. So mm. they got me. Mm. So don't jump guns. Um, mm. yeah, oh yeah. yeah, give me food. Make her go. Food. Mm. <laughs> eh, food don't finish. Ah, mugbe. Thank you so much for staying tuned. I'm so sure you're probably really worried about the coronavirus pandemic, especially if there are confirmed cases around you. Fortunately, you can take action to protect yourself and your family from contracting the infection. Simple things like staying home whenever possible, avoiding sick people, washing your hands often, and disinfecting high-touch surfaces can help you stay well. If you suspect you may be sick, call your doctor or your local health department immediately. Then stay home until they tell you to seek medical care. All right. Now, you can be part of the program by sending us a text or WhatsApp message to the number 0812-541-9549. The number again is 0812-541-9549. Tell us about your experience on the COVID-19 pandemic. If there is any observation you have made about a product being faked or the fakers themselves, please feel free to contact us with the same number, 0812-541-9549. And you can visit the official website of NAVDAC, which is www.navdac.gov.ng for more information that will be very helpful to you. 
Thank you very much. Now, the world is desperate to find ways to reduce the spread of the novel coronavirus and to find effective treatments. As of today, there are hundreds of clinical trials of COVID-19 treatments or vaccines, either ongoing or recruiting patients. New ones are being added virtually every day as the case counts globally skyrockets. The drugs being tested range from repurposed flu treatments, failed Ebola drugs to malaria treatments that were first developed decades ago and several other treatments that doctors hope will help fight the coronavirus. In Africa, Madagascar is promoting her herbal solution and reaching out to sister countries that are also desperately in need of a solution to save their people from the ravaging coronavirus. But the World Health Organization has called for caution. While the debate is on, what is NAFTA doing to safeguard the health of the people? Before we go to the DG NAFTA for her response, let's find out how the men on the streets feel about imported or locally produced herbal medicines. There's nothing wrong with herbal medicines. Herbal medicines are very good. Actually, they are a blessing. And a lot of the orthodox medicines we use actually have their origin in herbal medicines. And the only thing that needs to be done is for NAFDA to make sure that before it goes to the consumers, it must be certified safe. Concerning the Madagascan elixir, it's okay. But before it can be given to any patient, it must be tested and certified safe. The emergency will not be safe is like joking emergency. If you want to use that emergency, just use that with one mind. Uh, like type of, even type of, hurt it, even your belly, the pain you say, if they take them, you will stop. For me, I don't really like about medicine. If you look at most of the drugs coming from China, most of them are herbs. They just transform them in a way where it is easy for you to swallow. So we in Nigeria, we can also take that as a learning ground to transform our herbal drugs and make them very available because we trust in our herbalists. Some residents in Abuja speaking on the use of herbal medicines in the treatment of COVID-19. Now, cases of COVID-19 and fatalities associated with it are skyrocketing globally. In Nigeria, the incidence of COVID-19 and the number of deaths arising from its complications are on the increase. As a result, government introduced a number of measures including lockdown. But how has NAVDAQ been playing her role in all of these? Let me now go to the DG NAVDAQ. Professor Mojisola Christiana Adeyeye, who has been waiting on the line once again. Good evening, madam. Good evening. Thank you for your patience. Thank you. It's good to be here. Now, let's talk about what NAVDAQ has been doing lately as far as COVID-19 is concerned. Oh, where do I start? <laughs> we have been walking around the club. The COVID-19 is a disease that, of course, we need drugs, medical devices, and palliatives such as food. And along that line, NAVDAQ has literally been walking around the clock. Because without medicine, without medical devices, without PPE, without reagents to test for COVID, there will not be anything done for COVID in terms of uh, treatment, in terms of you know case management. There are, of course, important issues relating to hospitals, doctors, and so on. But I'm just talking from the perspective of NAVDAQ. So tell us what NAVDAQ's mandate is in all of these. Our mandate is to control the importation, the exportation, the manufacture, distribution, sale, and use of seven regulated products, which are drugs, food, medical devices, packaged water, beverages, cosmetics, chemicals. And when you look at those regulated products, you can see the COVID pandemic written on almost all of them. Drugs, yes. Medical devices, of course. If people will drink water. If you are dehydrated, you should go to drink water. Chemicals, they need chemicals as reagents to test for the virus. So in terms of what we have been doing, let me start with registration of test kits. All test kits are not equal. And we follow international best practices we, meaning NAVDAQ, follows international best practices in terms of the quality of our regulated product that we will let the public have access to. We have our timeline for approval of product because we receive thousands and thousands of products. So we give about 120 days for approval of drugs and some complex cosmetics, medical devices, vaccines, and so on. For food, we give about 90 working days. What we had to do was to use the emergency use authorization, which has been set up by WHO for cases of emergency. 
So we reduced our approval from 120 days to 10 days. Really? From 120 days to 10 days? How possible is this? It's possible because we have to put some things aside to put premium or attention on COVID-related products. And bear in mind, levels 12 and below have not been at work for the last six weeks. Last week, level 14 and above returned to work. So those of us that are at work and few of essential staff have been working around the clock. We've gotten almost about 40 applications for test kits. And these test kits are rapid test kits. Recently, we've been getting the reagents that will be used for the ones that are not portable rapid kits. That is the PCR side. And we had to go to great lengths to ensure that the test kits we are approving provisionally are such that have the quality, the credibility to be made available for use in the country. Out of about 40, we approved about 15. But it is painstakingly knowing, you know, uh, their attributes so that we can approve or not approve. That is first case. These are important because we don't make much in Nigeria yet. Sanitizers. We had manufacturers that were manufacturing sanitizers during the Ebola crisis. We had about 21 in our database. But because of the crisis, we started expediting approval of sanitizers. Right now, we've approved over 70 companies expedited. This takes a lot of time. But it's not just that. With our own expedited approval, there are unscrupulous people who will want to fake sanitizers. So how do you manage these fakers? Our post-marketing division also went to work across the country, meaning going to the market to see whether a sanitizer has NAVDAC number or not. And we have many that didn't have NAVDAC number, and we mock them. What we do is when we see them, we send an alert to all the 36 states. The state coordinators get to work and start looking around and start using whatever they find that doesn't have NAVDAC number. So you can see that our registration has been working over time, so to say. But it's not our registration, our drug evaluation research, because they look more into the nitty gritty of whatever is being approved by registration. Madam, I'm just being curious here. A job you normally do for 120 days is now being done in 10 days, coupled with the fact that a sizable number of your staff are at home because of the lockdown. How sure are we that um, standards and best practices are not going to be compromised? That is not what a regulatory agency even think of. Because we now work with international best practices, or we use international best practices. Is this strenuous or not? Yes, it is strenuous. For five weeks, I was working literally around the clock, except when I sleep. Because in my own case, I'm in the house, and with the top management too, when there was complete lockdown. So it's not like you have a few minutes to go out and come back. No. So the standards are not compromised at all. You know, what NAVDAC has been doing before COVID is using WHO global benchmarking. We are comparing ourselves with the best in the world, not with ourselves, because it is an audit that we started about two years ago that is still ongoing. They are still coming to check us and make sure that our processes are in place. We are using SOPs. So we are not doing this in vacuum. It is doing it with our laid down principles of global benchmarking. And the staff that are also at home are working, not 100% of them. Working from home? How? Because we have digitalized a lot of our processes. So things that we usually carry files and go around and go to one table to the other, we have put some of them online, which means our digitalization is now working for us. We used to have top management meetings physically. Everybody will go to Lagos. But because we have digitalized our system, video conferencing started April of 2018. I resumed 2017 November. The first video conference gadget was installed in Abuja. And then the other two, one in Oshodi, one in Isolo now. So we had our top management meetings that were made up of 44 from all over the country on Zoom. So we've been doing a lot. And that is one thing that COVID did that has brought something positive to Nigeria, not NAVDA. Three months ago, if you mentioned Zoom, one of my staff went somewhere and mentioned Zoom. And he said, Zoom? What's Zoom? But we've been using it for the last two years because I know that the world is so small now that I needed to put that in place. That was one of the first things that I put in place, aside from the budget debt that I had to pay within the year. So... 
just to clarify, it is not like the staff at home were sleeping, all of them. No, it is that they were also joining us. Because when you are doing registration, you don't need to be physically in the building to do the registration. If you are in the building, you are still going to use laptop or computers. How about testing the sample? What we did was to send the samples directly to the lab. When I told you that we were all in total lockdown, about five directorates were not in total lockdown, were there physically. The enforcement, the post inspection directorate, the laboratory, pharmacovigilance, post marketing. And bear in mind, it's only in Lagos, Sabuja, and Ogun that was total lockdown. In all the other states, at the beginning, there wasn't. So our staff were still walking around the clock in other states. So it's not like <laughs> the 2000 plus didn't work. In fact, maybe it is only the ones that are in Lagos and Abuja that were in total lockdown. But among those, we were walking around the club. Everybody in the port inspection directorate had to work. If not, bad stuff would start getting into the country. In fact, most of them stayed working. So just to clarify, it is not like the 2000 plus stayed at home. No, it is that almost all the ones in the zones and states were working. Our own finance and accounting had to come on and off, even during total lockdown, because they needed to do things that they may not be able to do from home. And it worked out very well. Now, Madagascar has come up with a herbal product it claims has healing effects on COVID-19. Tell us what your perspective is on this claim. I was enthused when I heard that it's their traditional medicine that has helped them. But they didn't come to that conclusion overnight. They must have known beforehand. They must have accepted it beforehand. They must have done some research on it beforehand. Madagascar is a tiny country. Nigeria is possibly 10 times or if not 25 times more than Madagascar. We have a lot of biodiversity in Nigeria. God has blessed us so much. We have so much in terms of traditional medicine. But because of secrecy, even our own parents died with them. Something that would have yielded a lot of money for the country through foreign exchange and trading with other countries. We've lost a lot. But last year, after sorting out some problems administratively that I met on the ground, I put traditional medicine as premium again. And we started the Harbour Medicine Product Committee. It's a national committee in NAVDA. We started it March of last year, where we brought practitioners or herbalists and researchers together. Because it doesn't matter how good the product is, if it is not investigated in the lab, and a lot of stories are written around such products, meaning scientific stories, findings, we will just be using and then somebody will die with it again. Okay, now the WHO is calling for caution about the Madagascar herbal medicine and other herbal products. Tell us, what really makes herbal products credible? What makes traditional herbal medicine credible it is when the works are published and to publish a paper is to make it available to the world to read go through a process of review we must thank you madam for spending your time with us on the program tonight thank you well i have been speaking with the director general navdak professor mojisola christiana adeyeye on the agency's efforts at dealing with the issues around the covid 19 pandemic navdak safeguarding the health of the nation now, the herbal drug for Madagascar to fight coronavirus has been received in Nigeria by the mandate of the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAFDAC. It must be thoroughly tested and certified to be safe before it is allowed to be used in the country. I have with me in the studio the Director of Public Affairs, NAFDAC, Dr. Abakar Jimo. You're welcome to the program. Thank you. Now, the much-talked-about herbal medicine for COVID-19 is here. I know NAVDAC will not allow it to be used without checking. How soon will that be done? Like uh, the Director General rightly pointed out, we are all waiting for the drug to be made available to NAVDAC. But don't forget that there's a procedure. And the very first major step has been taken by the Guinean president. You saw it. Everybody is aware. And then Mr. President obviously is going to take the right channel and hand it over to the Presidential Task Force on COVID, which includes the Honorable Minister of Health. Then from there, it gets to NAVDAC. So it's not uh, so, with NAVDAC yet? Uh, it's not with NAVDAC. Uh, the, my director general actually addressed a press conference last week before the arrival of the Madagascar remedy that we are yet to receive it and we are waiting with bated eyelids. We are excited and we are waiting. The whole nation is waiting for it. So putting timeline on it, don't forget that this is going to be treated expeditiously by the director general because he has actually made that commitment that once we get it, all has to be on deck to ensure that uh, we subject it to thorough evaluation. Let me also emphasize, re-echo what the DG said. Despite the agitation in the country and people are expectant, we're still going to follow the normal procedure. Uh, but 
obviously we go to expedite the necessary action. Dr. Bakar Jima, Director of Public Affairs, NAVDAC, speaking on the arrival of the Madagascan herbal medicine for COVID-19. NAVDAC, safeguarding the health of the nation. Next is NAVDAC update with Miranda Nkasi. Thank you, Harriet. The National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAVDAC, is instituting an 80% reduction in tariffs for the registration of micro and small enterprises products for a period of three months to help ease the impact of the novel coronavirus. This was made known by the Director General of NAVDAQ, Professor Mojisola Christiana Adeyeye, at the launch of NAVDAQ's palliatives for MSMEs at the weekend. The palliatives include zero tariffs for the first 200 micro and small companies to register their products on the launch day, 80% reduction in tariffs for the registration of micro and small enterprises products for a period of three months and waivers on administrative charges for late renewal of expired licenses for products of micro and small businesses. The NAVDAQ Director General called on micro and small enterprises to take advantage of the incentives to massively embark on e-registration of their products. Professor Adeyeye said NAVDAQ has created a small business support desk to facilitate registration processes for micro and small business operators as part of reforms to create an enabling environment for MSMEs to thrive. In addition, the NAVDAQ boss said the agency had reduced by 50% requirements and tariffs for registration of some food and cosmetic products. NAVDAQ has also ensured expedited laboratory analysis for samples and allowed micro companies with similar products to share production facility as well as abolish the engagement of consultants by companies for product registration. According to the NAVDAQ Director General, other incentives are 90 working days timeline for product registration and the registration of micro enterprises products at the zonal offices nationwide. Professor Adeyeye called on entrepreneurs to adhere strictly to the agency's guidelines on doing business to ensure the quality of their products. In another development, NAVDAQ has promised to fast-track the laboratory analysis of the herbal drug from Madagascar to fight coronavirus. The NAVDAQ Director of Public Relations, Dr. Abu Kajimo, who stated this in Abuja, said the agency will prioritize the laboratory examination of the product once it received it from the federal government. Dr. Jimo said the herbal medicine will be subjected to the normal process of analysis to ascertain its efficacy and that it would not be given full registration unlike the Orthodox drug. And that's it on this segment. Please do well to visit www.gadopress.com for top stories. Over now to you, Harriet, for the concluding part of the program. I am Miranda Nkasi. Stay healthy and safe. Thank you, Miranda. Navdak. Safeguarding the health of the nation. And that's our package for tonight. If you see or know anyone or place where fake drugs are produced and marketed, please reach out to NAVDAC. Do you have questions, comments, or you just want to know about the workings of NAVDAC? You can reach us via WhatsApp or SMS on 0812 541 9549. Or you can visit the official website of NAVDAC, which is www.navdac.gov.ng. There you will find information about the agency. This is a production of Gado Agency Limited and proudly sponsored by the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAFDAC. Many thanks to the drama crew, Blessed Arolayo, Saint Osiagu, Abdul Fatah Outhuri, and Sheung Odukoya. John Chukuma and Miranda Nkasi assisted in the production. The program was produced by Godwin Odemuje. Next week, Monday, is another time for you to join us on the program. Please stay safe. My name is Harriet Parkinson. Bye-bye.